Okay, it's 4 p.m. on Wednesday, which means it's time for a brand new iRadio Teams video. For cheap, fast, and reliable FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, check out u7buy.com and use code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. If we can get 1,000 likes on this episode, that'd be absolutely fantastic. And if you want to be featured in the next episode, it's really easy. All you've got to do is send me a HD screenshot via your Elgato or your console, your PlayStation, your Xbox, your PC, whatever you use, uh, and give me a description of your team. How many coins you got, who's tradable, who's untradable. And if you play starting in one formation and switching to another like Christian does, send me the screenshot of both, please. So I can uh, tell for chemistry reasons, um, tell you how to improve and not completely mess up your team, I guess. Uh, thank you for the support on these as well. Uh, this one is pre-recorded. I'm recording this last Sunday. Uh, I'm currently on a flight home from New York right now. Uh, when you're watching this, if you're watching this on Wednesday, which is why uh, I've pre-recorded this episode. So prices and things may vary a little bit. I do apologize if they do. Um, but from now on, from you know Sundays onwards, everything will be up to date, up to scratch and all that good stuff. So we start off with Christians who said all untradeable and have 100,000 coins for upgrades. I'll be honest with you, that's all untradeable. That's first of all, really, really good. Second of all, I wouldn't actually, I mean, obviously, like, it's not really, it's not uh, amazingly impressive. You know, you've got a lot of SBC players there. They're not all from packs. But what I would do is I would try and keep down the untradeable line. Um, I would personally sort of look at, at some point, if we get another, uh, I don't know, Lewandowski player of the month SBC, complete that, get a better striker. Um, I would possibly look to uh, to grind towards a base icon pack, keep it all, you know, uh, untradeable. I think that'd be really cool. Uh, if you're looking just to get some tradable players in, though, I would upgrade your left back to Alba, uh, Jordi Alba, that is, not Alaba, Alba. Uh, I get Jordi Alba as your left back. Um, let me have a look at you playing game again. Senemid, I'm not feeling uh, Coutinho. What I would do is I'd play Nabria left striker, Coutinho cam, and then change your Senemid here for... The likes of Deli Ali, I think it'd be a good centre mid in this game. Um, you know, pretty well balanced and things like that. And that's probably what I'd do for your team. Uh, aside from that, I think it's a pretty good team. Uh, the next one is from uh, Calum, who uh, says, Love the video, keep it up. Messi, Balak, Taliso, and Gomez are untradeable. You have an untradeable in for Messi. That is actually insane. Um, I'm just looking for upgrades. I feel that. Okay, so uh, how many coins did you say you had? Let me double check. It, you didn't say. You're just looking for who to upgrade. All right, so first upgrade, I'd say he's actually Balak. Um, I don't think he's that great, personally, especially at CDM. I think you try and upgrade him. In terms of who to upgrade to, obviously, it's got to be an icon, I feel like. Um, I don't know how many coins you're rocking with. If you can set your, your mind to something far in the future and then try and make it happen, uh, obviously, uh, Matthias will be a good shout. Um, but there's a few different options you can go with. I think Coutinho is not great as well in terms of... Uh, wait, where are you playing Coutinho? I mean, left cam is actually not too bad, to be fair. Uh, you could go with the likes of Komen, though. I think that a little bit more pace might actually be a little bit more beneficial to you. But obviously, five-star skills for Coutinho is decent. Obviously, you've got an untradeable Messi. That's un insane. I'm not sure about uh, playing an off-cam centre-back. Obviously, you spent a, mo a lot of money on that SBC, but PK might be better. Uh, playing PK and then to Stegen in goal, that might be better. But if you really insist on using that Joe Gomez, then obviously, you really, excuse me, want to use him. But... um. But yeah, it's a really nice team, man. It's a, it's a very nice team. Uh, I can already tell I won't be able to look at these because they are going to be the, the tiniest screenshots ever. The next one's from Declan Partridge, who says, Untradables are Bamiyang, De Jong, Vardy, Mendy, PK, and Schmeichel, and all of the bench too. Okay, I'm guessing you play this in game as well. Um, what would I change in this team? Kappa, I think I would swap for Nelson Semedo straight away. Um, Fabinho, send him in, just I'm not feeling that. Obviously, I'd swap Fabinho and De Jong in game. Uh... I think you can go with maybe a more uh, attacking-minded centre mid over uh, Sissoko. I love Sissoko in this game, um, but I feel like maybe Endombele is a better shout. And I, oh, I always say uh, Sissoko over Endombele. And the reason why I'm saying Endombele over Sissoko this time is because uh, Endombele has got the four-star skills, the better stats going forward. And I think that uh, having a really, really defensive three midfielder formation like this, I think actually doesn't do great because... You, you kind of lost when you're trying to move forward with the ball. Just my opinion. Aside from that, I think your team is actually really good. Uh, so, yeah, very, very nice team. Uh, the next one is from FIFA 20, who says, uh, what do you think of my team? I want to know how, who to upgrade, and then I'll get the money. Untradables, Arsa Zoko, Vardy, and Nesta. Who you want to upgrade in this team? Uh, Sterling. I would, re I would upgrade Sterling at some point, and I'd upgrade Lacazette as well. Uh, they're the two... Not weak links. I think they're both fantastic players and they're both really, really good in this game. But I would say if like they are the next two on the list 
as opposed to everyone else because you know the next upgrade and i'd say vardy as well vardy's on that list too obviously end uh, sorry dem Us usmain dembele the only upgrade you've got for him is Messi, you know. Um, you haven't really got great upgrades. Obviously, the informed version of De Jong is going to be an upgrade. Um, I don't see an upgrade for Nelson Tomato at all. Uh, you can upgrade long later for Ran at some point. Um, I don't see an upgrade for Ferland Mendy. Nestor, I don't see an upgrade you can make for him. Same with uh, with Testegan, unless you maybe you want All Black, but I don't know. That's a bit nitpick. I think that your next upgrade slots are probably Sterling to somebody, maybe like a Marshall or something. Uh, up top, I'd say Jamie Vardy, replace him for like a better Premier League striker. Uh, like someone maybe in a Bamiyang or something like that. And then if you did get Bamiyang, you'd probably keep Lacazette, to be honest, uh, and get that link there. I'd say, yeah, that's probably what you're looking at, really. Uh, but I think you've got a fantastic team, to be honest. You've got great players in great positions. Next one coming from Michael, who says, I play 4-4-2 in game. Vardy, Lucas, McGinn, Wambasaka, Oshman, and Kane are untradeable. I've got 50,000 coins. Any upgrade suggestions? Um... Normal Tellers, I'm not a big fan of. I would actually personally use uh, the brand new UCL Vendel over Tellers. I think Inform Tellers is amazing, but I don't think that the normal card's got enough pace, to be honest. That's just my opinion. I think that Wendell with the four-star skills works really well. Um, I would that also upgrade Neto to Testegen or just a better keeper. Neto didn't have hands when I used him. I don't know. He just he tries to save everything like this. You know, like, like the boys come up here, he goes like that. Like, what are you doing, mate? Save the ball, you know? Um, so I'd say Neto is also a liability, and I'd, I'd upgrade Neto as well. But aside from that, I think you've got a nice team. Obviously, you do need uh, you do need the chemistry. Uh, McGinn, I'm also not a big fan of McGinn, especially at centre mid. I mean, actually, no. I take that back, actually. This McGinn card's got great stats for centre mid. I forgot. I keep thinking that McGinn... I keep thinking about his first inform, but his second inform actually has good stats for centre mid, so I think he'd actually work quite well there. Uh, obviously, you do need a link for... Um, for Edair Militao, what would I do there for the link for Edair Militao? I mean, you could go you could go Marcelo left back, but he ain't got great pace. You could go Ferland Mendy left back and get a better left mid like Martial. You could work something like that into the mix. Um, but yeah, they're, they're just the upgrades I would make, to be honest. Um, the next one comes from SNZ, uh, who says, I have 60k spare. Urza is untradeable. The rest are tradable. Okay. All right, I feel that. I would upgrade Mata straight away. <laughs> I'm surprised you're using Juan Mata. I would go, honestly, for a cheap upgrade, Jesse Lingard is good in this game. Uh, left mid, Bernard's not bad for a cheap left mid, but I think that Philippe Anderson's like 4K now, so I'll get Philippe Anderson. Right mid, uh, I think you're all right with Willian, to be honest. The, the next upgrade's Sterling, and he's quite expensive. Your back line's really good. Your goalkeeper's good, and you, your strike force are really good. So yeah, I just upgrade those. I mean, you could upgrade... Um, you could upgrade Urzel for, uh, I don't know, like a Wijnaldum or a Deli Alley, someone that's more box-to-box -box as well. Um, I'm assuming, as he's like your untradeable, I think you'd want to use him, though. That's why I, I don't say that. But I try my best not to say, you know, swap out this SBC player or this SBC player, because I know you guys spend a lot of coins in SBCs and want to use those players, but sometimes I just feel like you're not getting good use out of your squad when you've got a certain player in a certain position. But the next squad is from Jack, who says, everyone's tradable apart from Drogba. Only have 50k uh, for long-term upgrades, four triple two in game. So you've got Drogba from Icon Swaps. I respect it. I do respect that. Um, okay, so... <sighs> this right back, I don't like it. <laughs> uh, I'm not a fan of Trent on this game, to be honest. I'm just not, I just, I haven't ever been a, a fan of Trent on this game. I just don't think he's great. What would I do to change that is a good question though. Um, you could, what you could do is you could swap Ramos and Longley and get Hector Bellerin at right back. Gives you a bit more pace into the squad. Uh, I think that's probably the best option there. And apart from that, I think your team is genuinely phenomenal. How is that Drogba card? Please let me know your record with Drogba in the comments. I beg, because... I don't know if that would have been worth grinding for or not. And I hope that it is for your sake. I really do. Hazard's a great calm and so is uh, Salah. I, I love them both when I use them. Uh, the next one is from Robert Patty, who says, I have 65k, but I'm willing to save like 300k. Uh, got Roberto Carlos and put Militao in my team. Closer is the only untradeable. Okay, so I don't know who you would have swapped out. Wait. Uh, gonna get Roberto Carlos and put Militao in my team? Bro, save your time. Do not do that, please. Honestly, don't. Your, your back line is almost perfect. I would say replace David Alaba with Roussillon and your back line is perfect, bro. Please do not taint it with Edea Militao. Theo Hernandez is one of the best centre-backs in this entire game and same with Longley. Um, Carvalho's decent. Uh, closer, please no. Uh, did you get closer from Mike on Swatch, bro? Did you really? Oh my days, man. What did you do? How is closer? I hope that 
I am just being facetious and closer is banging goals in for you. I really do. If he's not, I feel bad for you. Um, but what to do with your team is a good question. Uh, I don't see an immediate upgrade. I'll be honest with you. I think you save coins. I think you save and try and upgrade that Goretzka, to be honest. Uh, either that or you go with an informed version of the Young over at right center mid. One of those two, to be honest, mate. Uh, it's a really nice squad. And then you just got to get a better striker. And, and that's it. Uh, the next one's from X Knight O, who says, same formation in game, but I swap Lewandowski and Kante, of course. Got no budget trying to sell Lloris in hype. All right, I feel that. Um, I don't know how much you're going to get for Lloris. I don't know how much he sells for, bro. Let me have a look right now. Obviously, this is this is like two weeks, like a week and a half ago. Uh, so the price might be different. He's 200K. 200. Okay, fair enough. Uh, what would they do with this team? When you eventually sell Lloris, maybe get 250K for him. Uh, I would personally, I would probably, I don't know, really. I would just save and then you can upgrade Lewandowski at some point to a better, a better striker. You know, like an icon or something. Uh, you'll get two two fifty for Larice. If you can save for a week or two, get yourself up to like five hundred k. You can go for like a baby Zola or something like that. I think Zola's like around that coin, that many coins. He might be a little bit more actually. Um, Eight eighty. Jeez, he's way. He went up like a lot since the start of the game when I used him. Uh, by the way, guys, if you have eight hundred eight k and you're looking for an icon to use, this card is phenomenal. Very very good card. Uh, I also liked Michael Owen, who I don't know how much he is either. I only used the middle one. I didn't use the baby one, so I couldn't comment on the baby one. But the middle one's 500k. There's your striker right there. Michael Owen is fantastic. Very, very good card. Middle Michael Owen, I really enjoyed. Uh, the next one's from Leon Potts. who said, everyone is untradeable but Ariola and St. Maximin. Can you recommend any formation? Not in-game. Keep up the good work. Um, blah, 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 blah. So keep up the good work, and I'll grind to anyone that's under 100. Okay, I get you. I get you. I, by the way, I wasn't trying to be rude and said bloody blah, blah, blah. I just lost complete train of thought there. And that was the only way I, I could vision myself regaining focus on what I was trying to read there. I, I'm a little bit tired. I do apologize. Um, what formation in game? I think a 4 one 2 one 2 narrow would work. Get yourself uh, a decent left mid that can play center mid. Uh, and then get yourself a decent striker. Who should you grind towards? Is a good question. I'd wait till the next Premier League player of the month, to be honest. I'd wait till that. All Black Friday SBCs could be a big one too. Uh, the next one's from LRWJ, who says, Loving the content. I'll play the save formation in game. 150k to improve. Bergwin, Marlin, and Dumfries are the only ones tradable. Thinking of saving for Baby Van der Sar or Inform Wijnaldum. Um, mate, save for Van Dijk. If you're going to save for anyone, save for Virgil Van Dijk, bro. Just save for him. You don't need you don't need Van der Sar. You don't need Inform Wijnaldum. But you do need a better Dutch centre back than uh, your boy Ake. So save Virgil van Dijk. That is, I'm sending you a task right now. You're going to get towards Virgil van Dijk, right? I promise. Uh, the next one is from your boy Harry, who says 50k, 4 triple 2 in game, Politano and Trossard, uh, striker, Royce Havertz, Cam, 50k, Royce, goalkeeper, untradeable. Uh, love the video. Thank you very much, man. Um, I've got untradeable Royce as well. So, you know, you're part of the, you're part of the crew. I respect your grind to gain that Trossard, mate. I, I, would, I don't have that in me, but I respect the grind. What would I do with this team? Is a good question. Um, I would personally, the only, the only thing i change is goalie, to be honest. Uh, and then just try and get informed Delaney. Try and get, you know, just better versions of your players, like inform Havertz, things like that. Work and upgrade in those. Because uh, when you actually get upgrades, like, for example, you work towards getting inform Havertz, who I think is like 120k. By the time you get to, no, not 120k, 220k, by the time you get to that 200k, roughly that mark, maybe your Politano and Trossard have had upgrades as well, and it just bolsters your team even more. So I'd work towards that, to be honest. Um, next one coming from Daniel, who says, hey, mate, this is my team. Oh, geez, this is a, a bright screenshot. Oh, wait, it's a picture of it. Oh, I'm just going to do it. I've already, I, can't, I can't say I'm not going to do it now. I've already said it. Hey, mate, this is my team. I play 4 and 2 and 2 net brackets too. I moved uh, Petit to CDM. What can I upgrade with 200k? Messi, Guardiola, the Crest. But you've, already, you've also got Messi. And, oh, you got Red Messi. That's crazy. That is mental. What would I do with your team? Uh, get a better version of Allen when you can. I just work towards upgrading Allen. Um, that is probably the only thing I work towards, to be honest, is upgrading your Allen version to a better version of Allen. Your team is sick, mate. Your team is sick. GG on the red Messi. Uh, next one from Harley Fretwell, who says, My intradables are a Kocha and Zaha. I've got 150k for upgrades. Keep up the hard work and enjoy your holiday. Thank you very much, Harley. I appreciate that, man. I'm really looking forward to the break. Uh, it's been... It's not been rough. I will say it's been a really, really enjoyable couple of months to the start of FIFA 20, but it's been hard work 
I've enjoyed it and I just need a bit of a recharge. FIFA's got the better of me to an extent where it's just like, I'm kind of a bit demotivated and I don't want to be one of those content creators that stops playing the game and only does menu content because I really always feared that when doing FIFA YouTube was like being one of those YouTubers that doesn't know anything about FIFA because he doesn't play the game. So that is why I wanted to recharge and just get my mind straight for FIFA 20 uh, team of the year and stuff like that. Uh, so I appreciate it. And I'm sorry I just took a minute out of your day to talk about a holiday. Uh, but uh, let's go into it. So you, Akotra and Zaha, your Incredibles, 150k. Um, let's have a look how you're playing in game. See, I don't rate Akotra, mate. I really don't. Maybe you're enjoying him, but I just don't. I think you could, you would actually do better with Raheem Sterling. If not, I would probably upgrade... I would sell Dumfries and get Kyle Walker and upgrade your right center back to a Davinson Sanchez. I, I'd probably... A lot of people are using Laporte. I'm starting to think maybe I'm the problem with Laporte and I'm starting to realize that maybe Laporte is actually good and I am the issue and that people enjoy Laporte and it's me being an idiot and not liking Laporte. So I'm going to stop recommending people change Laporte because evidently you guys are all enjoying him. But please change Ake and Dumfries for Kyle Walker and Davinson Sanchez. And then... If you really, if you're enjoying Okocha, keep him. If not, I would go with uh, Raheem Sterling or a Riyad Mahrez, someone with, uh, someone with five-star skills, you know. Uh, we're going to do the last one for this episode. Actually, no, we'll keep on doing a couple more because this will be a really short episode, if not. Um, this one's from Abdul. Uh, he says, love the vids. I play a 4-2-3-1 in game. Everyone in, uh, is tradable except for SBC players, Oblak, De Jong, and Alaba. What would I do with this team? I don't rate Aguero, but that's just my personal opinion. Um, if you're enjoying Aguero, keep him. If not, I would go for like a Bamiyang. And then if you're going to go, okay, all right. This is a bit bold, but here's what I would do. I would get Martial as your left mid, all right? I would then go with a Bamiyang as your striker and get the new UCL Torreira. Now, obviously that's out of your budget, probably. You haven't told me your budget, but I'd say that's probably out of your budget. So that's something to grind towards. You can sell, can you sell Aguero? Um... Okay, so Aguero and Sane and Decore are all tradable. You might be able to afford it off the bat. If not, then I'd I'd work towards it over time. But yeah, that's what that's the route I go for, to be honest. Uh, next one's from Liam Five, who says untradables are Militao and Lucas. I play a four-two-three-one in game and will do any improvements. Also, love the vids. Thank you, Liam. Appreciate that, man. Where would I improve? I like the hybrid. To be fair, I like the hybridization of this team. Um, where would I improve? What do you play in game? A four-one. You play a four-two-three-one. Nah, bro. I don't know who you're playing in cam out of Sizoko, Allen, and, and, and Matuidi, but <coughs> one of these guys is playing in cam, and I don't like it. I would not use either of those guys' cam, bro. Um, what would I recommend? I would recommend... Uh, who do I think you're going to easily be able to replace here? Here's a good question. You might have to rework the squad here, to be honest, mate. I like how your squad's laid out, but you might have to rework it. What you could do, you could... Uh, you couldn't, could you? All right. Okay, I think I know what to do here. I would personally sell Suzoko and sell Lucas Moura and bring in Insigne and Mertens, and then you've got the front four of dreams. There you go, mate. There you go. Um, they, they, there you go. Next one's from Ragnar, who says, all the back line is tradable. The rest of the team is untradable. Have 400k to spend. Greetings from Argentina. Yo, hola. Como es mother flipping stas, bro? That was the cringiest thing I've done in one of these videos. I do apologize. I'm just in a good mood today. Um, but yo, Argentina's mad. It's crazy where you guys are from and watch the content. I really appreciate all the support, guys. Uh, so you got 400k to work with. What would I do with 400k? Get Vardy out of your squad, mate. There you go. Bada bing, bada boom. I would bring in, instead of Vardy, probably a Bamiyang. Um, maybe Lucas. Someone like that. Someone that's better dribbling, four-star skills. Um, and I'd probably keep everything else the same, to be honest. Oh, no, I'd bring in Longley instead of Umtiti as well. I'd get Longley at your right centre-back spot. I would get... Uh, yeah, I'd get Longley right centre-back and a Bamiyang striker. And uh, most love for watching the vids from Argentina. Uh, all right, we're going to do two more because I can't really I can't really show a team and not do it. I feel really bad if I did that. Next one's from Jack, who says, Vardy, Old Black, Cancelo, Suzoko, the bench uh, and reserves are all in trade. We'll play the same in game. 65k, keep up the good work. Thank you, man. Uh, what to improve with this side? I would replace... I Yeah, I would actually. Uh, I'd, I'd definitely do... No, I wouldn't. Would I? Would I? Yeah, I would get rid of Jimenez and I would bring in... Uh, 
Ed M, how many coins you got? 65k. Sell Jimenez. Wait, can you sell Jimenez? Uh, yeah, you can. Sell Jimenez, bring in Ed M and a towel, and then bring in Arthur. I'd say bring in Arthur. There you go. And the, next, and the last one for this episode is from Matthew. He says, switch level with Harriet and Harriet with Witzel. And Babu, lower Pep and Harriet are untradeable. Got 200k to spend. Also got 16 icon tokens. Should I go for Ferdinand or Ian Wright? Love the content. Uh, you've got a banging backline, mate. I'd go for Ian Wright, 100%. It's a nice team. Yeah, Ian Wright, bro. I'll go for Ian Wright. Ian Wright, right, right. And that's it for this episode. Uh, massive thank you to all, all of you for your support. Um, the fact that you guys have put me in a position where I can... Book a holiday to New York is crazy. Uh, I know that sounds like I'm flexing, but I'm not. I'm just grateful, genuinely, that I'm in this position. So thank you all for that. Uh, thank you all for supporting me. Thank you all for supporting the channel. Uh, and thank you all for being a part of these videos every week. Uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, if you didn't get featured in this episode, I do apologize. Please keep sending in your squads. Send them in on Tuesdays and Saturdays. That's the best time to send them in, and I'll check them out and review them for the next uh, day. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you later.